if you want to get into the real estate business, you got to understand the business. And I wish they would have taught me this uh, at the beginning of my career in real estate, remodeling and buying and owning. So I just got out of Lowe's. I'm rehabbing another unit. And they have this volume savings discount that you can sign up with Lowe's. Home Depot has the same thing. Lowe's for pros. So they have this QSP system where you put all of your stuff that you want to buy into the system. And then they quote you based on the volume that you're buying and you get big discounts. So for example, I'm remodeling another unit, 114. Uh, I'll show you the video, I'll cut to it. It's uh, actually a unit that needs to get totally gutted out. The guy was a hoarder. He lived really disgusting and dirty. It's just nasty. There's just nasty shit everywhere. So it's a total gut and replace everything. And uh, I got two quotes here through the QSB system, all kitchen, bathroom kitchen uh materials which is cabinets countertops bath vanity um fixtures toilet bowl uh what else uh countertop i said that and uh appliances stainless steel appliances that's a fridge and a stove as well as the stainless steel hood range too uh total total without the qsb is forty one hundred dollars and with the QSB, it is $3,400. So it's a $460 savings, which is about 11.86%. Let's just say 12%. And uh, this is a huge lifesaver because I was not doing this at the beginning of my real estate career. And now I'm doing it. And I'm learning how to bulk the orders up better instead of just onesies, twosies, which is helping me tremendously. So all of this will actually get delivered. $20 delivery charge, right? It's going to be uh, appliances delivered uh, with a different carrier than the cabinets, but they're all going to be delivered on the same day, same time frame. So I hope that's always a huge problem logistically for Lowe's. They haven't figured it out because it's third party. And that's scheduled out for uh, not next week, but the following week, Monday, which I, I should have the unit cleared out and painted by then and at least in decent shape to have... Uh, the materials come and start putting them in. Uh, yeah, so number one lessons I learned is QSP, definitely buy in bulk. If you could buy in bulk, buy in bulk. Buy it and store it. If you have a garage, store it. Buy the stuff in bulk. You'll save in the long run. It's good to have the materials on hand before you actually need them if you know you're going to be doing remodeling. Uh, the second thing is, is evict dirty ass fucking tenants, okay? I cannot express you enough that you got to do that. That's the number one lesson that I learned. Um, I should have evicted this tenant about over a year and a half ago, but I didn't. I gave him the benefit of the doubt, and I gave him a chance to clean up his shit, but he didn't clean up his shit. Uh, so you definitely need to do that. Evict the tenants that are dirty, and don't hold back, because dirty tenants will run your damn place down, and then all the new tenants that are coming in there, that are paying the market premium rents for the rehab units that you are doing, they're going to be pissed off. So now, because of this guy... All right, there's a unit upstairs. Her unit is disgusting. So now I have to move her over to another unit because she's threatening to bring an attorney in here and, and sue us because because of the, the hazardous living conditions because it's literally, it's a hazardous environmental issue with all that shit and junk in there from this guy that I evicted. So now I have a bigger problem. So that's the number one lesson that I learned is evict these dirty ass tenants inspect your units right if you know they're living nasty and disgusting evict them just pay the money evict them get them over with and, and get them to move on and get yourself uh, a nicer quality of tenant and keep your property clean don't freaking have these tenants that are running your property down get them out of there number one lesson that i learned and i'm still learning this lesson as i'm in this business more and more and more so hope this helps you Get after it. You can do the real estate. It's totally possible. I know it's a lot of stress. I know you have to deal with this stuff. But the better you become, the more you can handle all these other challenges. So um, don't get uh, emotional about it. Make the decisions. Rock with it. Go with it. Keep moving forward. You can do it. You can own a multi-million dollar real estate. You can manage it. You can do it all, man. Because if I can do it, there's no reason why you can't do it. That's the way. That's it. Over and out.